Hi everyone, I'm Mike Candice. I want to say thanks a lot for your huge support for my new single 2012 and therefore I want to give you something back. That means I want to show you how I produced this track 2012. Not from scratch, but I'm gonna show you my arrangement. You're gonna hear the different sounds I'm using. I hope you enjoy it. Here we go. So this is the main arrangement window of Logic Pro. I think I'm gonna start right at the beginning of the track and uh, as you can see it's a pretty complex arrangement it's because I have uh, two different parts I have the one the dance pop part and the other one the dubstep part and therefore there's a lot of tracks I think in the end it's uh, 84 different tracks playing and uh, that's pretty much so let's start at the beginning <laughs> Now this sounds simple and actually it is simple here we only have uh, a crash and a kick together with a, with a synthesizer sequencer and a pad and an arpeggio Next step, still the same sounds playing. And if you listen very carefully, you can hear that I'm already introducing the lead melody that will follow right after this part. Now this is something I call psychoacoustic. You don't really hear it in the track together with the vocals and everything, but I think even if you don't realize that it's there, it's gonna introduce the lead sound. Maybe it works, maybe it doesn't, who cares? Let it play. Okay, now together with the vocals, and uh, here we have the vocals of Evelyn. And if the world would end tomorrow, we don't care tonight, tonight. And together with the sound, you know it. And if the world would end tomorrow, we don't care tonight, tonight. And if the world would end tomorrow. And as you can hear on the sequencer and on the pad, I have a cutoff filter that is opening during this intro. Listen to that. This gives us a nice build up. And then for the first time we have to lead synthesizer melody here. These are different sounds together. Um, for the first sound I use a, a sample of Nexus. For the second sound this is uh, a sound of Silent One. A sound that I programmed myself. And the third one is a sample that I sampled from an old Roland synthesizer. I'm not gonna show you all of the sounds because this should remain my secret. Okay, so what else do we have here? We have um, a trance lead in the background. That means these sounds together it goes like this. some other sounds playing here just to play the chords this is some piano and trance chord mixed together now there's this build up together with the vocals and here we have for the first time the vocals of Patrick Miller also And then we start for the first time with the chorus. And here we have, of course, the kicks and snares and hi hat. Oh, 
as you can hear there's a lot of loops and hi-hats playing here together with the kick and the clap so here we have the 909 hi-hat of course for those who follow my productions for the last let's say 20 years you will recognize these sounds in every 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 production I ever made these are my absolute favorite samples the original 909 hi-hats and I think there's nothing better so I use them in every track We still have the lead sound, of course. And of course, I also added uh, a bass line and some new synthesizers. Just listen to that. Of course this sounds a little bit strange without the sidechain compressor so we can listen to it together with the sidechain compressor and with the drums okay now on top I added some pads to bring a little bit of brightness to the track this sounds like that Okay, and of course, the vocals of Evelyn and Patrick Miller, and together we have the chorus as you know it. Now we are arriving at the most interesting part I think the dubstep part and actually this is the first time I tried to produce some kind of dubstep I know it's not really dub dubstep step but it sounds a little bit like dubstep and I think it's giving a cool break to the to the dance track okay let's analyze the dubstep part here I have of course here I have of course the kicks and the snares Then I add some hi-hats and some loops. Now some trance sounds. Okay, and some, I think, pretty typical dubstep sounds. Some drops. Yeah, 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 yeah. And of course, a sub bass. And what I also did, I cut the original lead into pieces and uh, just added them to the dubstep part. And together without the vocals, it's like that. Okay, and together with the rap. And most of the dubstep sounds are sounds that I programmed with Silent One. And as you can see, this one is the dubstep part here. And after the dubstep part, 
uh, we uh, start again with the with the dance part and uh, the second part of the rap and then we go back to the chorus <laughs> Okay, now you know more or less how I produced this song 2012. Of course, vocal recording was another job I had to do, and then mix down and mastering, but uh, producing the arrangement and finding all the sounds, this was the biggest job, and I hope this gave you some inspiration. And um, have fun producing, and thanks for watching, thanks for your support, see ya!